People think that most hijackings happen in big cities late at night. The truth might surprise you. If you're going to be hijacked, chances are it'll happen within a five kilometer radius of your home. Now that you know this, here is what you can do about it. As you enter your broader neighborhood, the first thing you need to do is engage your coming home mode. This means paying more attention to the world around you. Stop taking calls, switch off your radio, see more than just the traffic in front of you. If you're planning a quick stop before you go home, be aware of who might be watching you. This is where large numbers of hijackers scout for their victims. Once you're back in your car, check to see if you're being followed. If you think you're being tracked by another vehicle, glance over your shoulder or adjust your rearview mirror towards them. This alone is often enough to persuade your would-be attackers to leave you alone. If not, either head for a police station or drive to a busy area. Hijackers would rather engage you in your driveway or on a quiet road deep in your neighborhood. If there is someone driving behind you as you head towards your house, do not pull up in front of your gate. Rather, turn onto the pavement and wait for the car to pass you. The number one hijacking modus operandi in South Africa is for a hijacker to park behind you and box you in. In fact, with almost half of all hijackings happening in driveways, this is an absolute red zone. You should do everything you can to improve security and visibility in this area. The more you can do to boost safety and visibility around your driveway, the less your chances of being ambushed. When leaving your home, day or night, you should always make a point of first checking the street because noticing anything out of place can make a big difference. So how do I know these things and who am I? Well, let's just say I've been doing this for a long time and that I'm a friend, just a friend.